ya que estoy siguiendo lo que Hey, what's happening everybody? It's your favorite YouTuber, old Boogie Bob here today. Hi Joe, hi Yan, hi Rob, hi Paul. What's poppin'? Uh, it's a special day. I look extra handsome today. Even more than usual. Ladies, I know it's hard to believe, but I look even better than I usually do. Now that's... Uh, come on. Come on, bro. I'm wearing a collared shirt. I broke out old Betsy, which I never break out. I look super handsome. It's time for the fifth annual Boogie Bob's Toys for Tots. I gotta come up with a better name. If you guys got a better name, we're uh, we're going to buy toys today for children and their mom. Their mom's getting in on the action. I can go buy toys for the kids and not the mom. That's insane. So I'm gonna, uh, obviously I'm not gonna sit there and film. Hi, look at the toy, I'm buying this one. Hi, little one. I'm not doing that. I'm walking over to Times Square. I'm walking to one of my favorite stores in the whole world, Lotless. Lotless has a wonderful toy section in the back for the kids. I'm not buying them a toy. I'm saying, go buy toys. They're going on a shopping spree. I got a feeling it's only going to cost me, honestly, about a hundred bucks. It's going to be the best hundred bucks I ever spent. Three little boys and their, and their teenage sister. By the way, guys, yesterday, this, this made the news. This is Alicia Keys High School. And yesterday, all the news crews were out here because all the kids were picketing gun violence. It was huge. Now they just standing across the sidewalk. Pardon me. Sorry. Pardon me. Uh, uh, they just standing across the damn sidewalk. Uh, yesterday, there was hundreds of kids out here protesting the gun violence. It was pretty amazing. And today it looks like there's some kind of election here. Come on, ma'am. I know you, ma'am. Come on. I know you see me. Okay. Calm down, Bob. I I'm already getting grouchy at people. Yo, do me a favor, guys. If you're in New York, don't walk down the street like this. Walk with your damn head. When I'm walking down the street and I see people coming at me, I gotta clean this. Give me a second. Oh, I look better already. When I'm walking down the street and I see someone coming at me, 30 feet away from me, and they're doing this, I say, this person's gonna bump me. This person's gonna mess up my hair. This person's gonna ruin my day. But, Ain't nobody ruining today. Today's gonna be a beautiful blessing of a day. I could tell already how beautiful this day is gonna be. Now I gotta meet the family there at four o'clock because they have dinner reservations at my spot, Tao, at five o'clock. So the kids are gonna get to go see where their mommy works for me at Tao. And they're going to have a very special, wonderful day. Guys, this is a brand new homeless encampment that just popped up here. The cops will break it up at some point, but there's about 13 people living right here. Right here. It's really crazy right here. Look at this. Thank you for your service, brother. Appreciate it.
Okay. They got a, they're, they're 15 people living right back here. That's insane, bro. Insane. Uh, let me see if I can't figure out how to cross the street here. And Billy doesn't mind if he doesn't make the scene. He's got a full-time job. He's doing all right. I'm just chilling. I'm staying out of the green. Tretton, stop it. That is so sweet and so kind. And I will do that. I promise. Thank you very much. Guys, obviously not necessary. I totally appreciate the love. Anything that's ever been given to me on this channel goes to someone else. Please keep that in mind. I, I opened this channel to help people and I appreciate that. Your kindness and love is wonderful. All right, dude, so what, what I'm doing today is every year I like to take people's kids shopping. Now this ain't one of my shorties. I do that weekly. Some of my shorties got kids. Yeah, you ain't gonna you ain't gonna get to her heart by not blessing the kids. So I love to do that. I love all my all my friends who have kids. Uh, but I uh, today is a very special day because I'm getting to take a a mom shopping. They just were at the beach all day. They're leaving the beach. Thanks for the service, folks. Appreciate you very much. And then uh, they were at the beach. And now they're coming in to meet old Uncle Bob at uh, Lotless. And I'll either get some footage of the store before. Maybe I'll take you guys in with me. If I get there before 4, because I'm going to meet them at 4, which nobody's ever on time except me. They'll probably get there at 4.30. But it's going to be wonderful. And instead of saying, hi, go get a toy, I'm just going to say, go get some toys. It's going to be beautiful. And uh, then they then uh, I'm giving their mom, she doesn't know it yet, but she's employee of the month, which is a nice little bonus. I'll kick her some cash, and then they're going to Tao Restaurant, one of the best restaurants in New York City, where her kids have never been, and they're going to see their mom get uh, get the props she deserves. She had a girl. Guys, it's a beautiful day out here, and. They have all the Broadway shows getting out for the matinee. This is six. It's a huge, huge hit. It's a uh, six young girls dream to perform or whatever. I don't know much about the play, but it's got astonishing reviews. And since it's out right now, just getting over, people are lined up to uh, get their playbills autographed. They all got the playbills going. I don't know any of the stars of the show. But, uh, and I don't have time to hang out today, otherwise I would. But the stars are going to come right out that door, and these people are all going to get to meet them. Which is always fun. And there's a star. Does anybody know who she is? She's going to uh, sign a bunch of these playbills. She gets to see her friend. And, uh, oh, she's bad. She a bad one, too. Uh, maybe I will hang out, you feel me? What if I forgot all about those kids? That wouldn't be good, right? Anyway, she's meeting with her friend. Then she's going to sign autographs for all these people. Her, whichever one she is. I'll have to Google her to see, but she a bad one, I'll tell you that one. And, uh... Let us keep it moving. We keep it moving. Guys, this is not really going to be that exciting of a live. 
I called Joe and I had to cancel today because I gotta go take care of the kids. Kids come first. This is six. Here's some of the girls. This is uh, this is six. I'm gonna say that that was Abby Mueller. We just saw Abby Mueller. Oh no, you know what? She looked like a Britney. No, nope, no. We just saw Andrea. Somebody Google her. Andrea Macaset. That's who we just saw. All right. I hear Alicia Keys. I uh, hope everybody's having a beautiful day. I know I am. I just left the crib. I just left the crib right now. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Paul. Purple's in the house. Purple haze all in my brain. What's cracking, everybody? I want to welcome everybody to the wild, wild west. A state that's untouchable like Elliot Ness. We're just walking. This is the Edison Ballroom. They've got a private event going on, hence the rope. That's why they got the rope. I really want to go see if my baby Pam Anderson's out there, but I only got 20 minutes to make it to the toy store. Guys, in my life, my two fingers. I just feel that being on time for everything is really, really important. I've never been late for work. Hold on a second. Yeah, sorry guys. We are... Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. I gotta show you, because everybody gonna be looking. As soon as I get to Times Square, everybody gonna be looking. These bitches have been in a shoebox, untouched by human hands, for 10 years. Oh, yo, yeah, yeah. I don't even wanna put them on. I don't wanna crease them today. I said, I'm, I'm breaking out the shoes. I just wanna hurt some shoe, shoe people's feelings. I see him looking from across the street like, what's he wearing? You see what I'm wearing? You know what I'm wearing. Because you can tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a little different. Even the cop is looking at my shoes. Even the cop is like, yo, word? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Okay, guys, I can tell you right now, it is packed. Out here, absolutely pizzacked. It's pizzacked. Uh, you want to see an artist? I like to look at art. Look at this. She's just sitting there smoking. Poor thing, that's like her 10th drag from that smoke and I've only been here eight seconds. There's drag number 11. We're gonna do one more drag, which shouldn't be more than, there, come on girl. You know, sometimes I guess, I don't smoke, but I guess if you get a break, you gotta, there you go, get your puff in there. She gotta puff it away. Poor thing. She ain't slowing down. You you smoking like that? You smoking about 15 packs a day, bro? Anyways, I feel all the eyeballs on my shoes. I feel them looking. I got grandmas over here looking. A hell of Today's a day about celebration, not getting beat up. You guys have no idea what it's like being the uh, most eligible bachelor in New York City. I'm the most eligible bachelor in all of New York. It is, uh, it is absolutely packed out here, folks. I 
I'm looking for celebrities. I'm looking for fake monks. Guys, I'm going to uh, take you to uh, Lot Less. Maybe take you inside. And then, uh, but I gotta meet my friend at four with her kids. I got 16 minutes. I ain't never late, bro. I'm telling you, I ain't never late. So I can't lollygag. I can't, uh, you know, chill. I gotta keep it moving. I gotta keep these beautiful shoes moving. Like 10 years sitting in a beautiful closed box. These shoes are like, yo, word. This is what it's like to be worn. 10 years tucked away in a dark box. Today they get their freedom. Ain't nobody better step on my shoes. Please don't step on my shoes today, folks. I gotta be careful. Buffalo girls go around the outside. Guys, I'm, uh, I'm just walking. I really got no agenda other than where I'm headed. Uh, I, I have a wonderful show next week. My dear friend who was at with me at Planet Hollywood for all those years, he was head of security. He was a personal bodyguard and escort for Jean-Claude Van Damme, Sylvester Stallone, Schwarzenegger. He was the number one guy there in charge of all their security. And my dear friend, Wolfgang, will be on the show. And we, we had such a good time talking today on the phone about uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta got really, really sick one time and he had to escort him up to his room about f fist fights he had to have trying to save Schwarzenegger. Because Schwarzenegger's a tough guy on film, but not in person. Uh, fist fights with Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's my dear friend. He'll be on next week. It's going to be one of my most amazing shows because he's moving. And I love him very much, even though he's a Celtics fan. He uh, grew up with Jean-Claude Van Damme. But uh, when I first... There's six. Where's the girl? There she is right there. Ah, damn it. You bastards. I just showed you six. She's the second girl on the left. So, I don't know her name. But uh, they were definitely screaming for her. On the way back... By the way, I'm going to do a great show on the way back. Right now, I got... There she is. That's her. That's the girl. I just gave you a Bookie Bob exclusive with her right there. I promise you that was her. All right. We're just going to keep it walking and talking. I've got uh, 15 minutes. i got 15 minutes. Oh, this is Sandy Kane. She's actually a friend of mine, but... Uh, if I see her, if she sees me, I have to talk to her for like 30 minutes, and I cannot do that right now. I also have to protect my shoes. At all costs, I have to protect my shoes. I'm not walking in that minute. I'm going around, bro. I'm going around. I should have never brought the shoes. This guy's just walking in traffic. Look. Come on, bro. This guy just, look. It's absolutely packed traffic. He's just walking right down the middle of the street. He don't care. He gonna get his coins. All right. Sorry, I should have never done it. I should have left them in the box. I ruined. I ruined today because I can't be comfortable knowing that some fool is just ready to step on him with a a dirty, scuffy shoe. Guys, this is just to tell you what I'm doing. I got nothing great going on. I'm gonna go to Lot Less right up here. I'm gonna meet my my family for the day. I'm gonna treat these kids like gold. And by the way, I lost my extremely expensive sunglasses yesterday. I was very, very upset about that when I was living with you guys. I think I took them off to help somebody at the grocery store. 
and they either got them or I just left them. I don't know what happened, but I, I ain't got them and I'm very depressed about that. All right, we're just walking. I can't walk in that, bro. I'm too scared. We have to I'm just taking it easy. Yeah. Fuck off, asshole. Fuck off. Yeah, me, bitch. Sorry, guys. I moved over to be kind, and he thought I was being a bitch. And when I said fuck off, bitch, excuse my language, he didn't say shit. He just tucked his little bitch-ass mouth and kept walking. Don't mistake kindness for weakness, guys. You're going to get beat up doing that. I apologize. Rewind the tape. Your Honor, rewind the tape. He's walking, I'm walking. I just, ah, just courtesy, I'll step over. Yeah, that's right. No, it ain't right, bitch. Shut up. Sorry. Uh, I'm taking a great day and I'm ruining it. Onye Mirango Kieho. All right, I feel better. Guys, do not take these rides. They stop to take your picture right here, great, but they're still charging you. You're still paying. That's a $14 picture. All right, I apologize, everybody. Today is gonna to be a beautiful day, and guys, when I'm done, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna have a great time. We're gonna feed people. I might do the news. If I can find a newspaper out here, I'm gonna do the news. It's been a while since I threw a Domino pizza party, but there's a Domino's right over here. You can get medium two topping pizzas for $5.99, $5.95, one of the two. You can go, go get 20 bucks worth of pizza, you can feed 80 people out here. All right. Calm down, Bob. Um, goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. That used to be a beautiful, magnificent restaurant. It is boarded up and closed. It's a great spot now to, if you want to score crack. You can score crack right there. All right. Not going to be one of my best lives. In fact, probably will be my worst live ever. You get what you pay for. I came, I came, and I dropped the ball today. Oh my God! This guy just had a huge open wound. On I'm good, Playboy. What's up, G? Ah, uh, what's up, How my you guy? You, you good? You know you good? that? All right, get that money. All right, get that money. Get, get that money, baby. Get that money. I'll see you on the way back. Oh boy, get surrounded by the weed guys. It's a, it's tough being it's tough being uh, popular sometimes. It's a, you got to be real careful on who you film with the weed. Some guys are like all about it. Some guys are like, yo, they still have that mentality that it's a felony. So, guys, if you come to New York and you see a store like this, and it's a huge store, it's got all the souvenirs, and there's a sign that says going out of business, it's a lie. There's one by my house been going out of business for 35 years. It's a lie, it ain't true. Also, one of my very best videos is a review I did on the Yard House. Guys, if you haven't been, check out the Yard House. Guys, I don't usually do the long sleeve. Feel a little awkward today doing the long sleeve. But we're almost at our destination. We're almost to our destination. If they're not here yet, and I know she ain't gonna be early. If I abruptly turn off, it's because they're here. But if they're not here yet, 
I'm taking you inside to Lot Less. One of my absolute favorite stores. I don't see them out front, so they ain't here yet. I'm going inside. I'm going to show you Lot Less. And I want you to picture being a five, six, seven year old boy. Now the daughter's like 15 or so. So I gotta, maybe she wants headphones or something. I don't know what kids like. I don't know what, when you stop playing with Barbie dolls. But I know when you're five, six or seven, you like Spider-Man and dinosaurs and race cars. Y'all ready? This is it. Lot less. This is where Bookie Bob takes people to go party. Go in, buy whatever you want. I can't do that at Macy's. I can't do that at Macy's. But I got gotcha. you. Hey, brother, how are you? Great, good to see you. All right, so we're gonna head to the toy department back here. Uh, by the way, reception in here is horrible, so if I get cut off, I just want to tell you, this is my favorite store for a reason. They got their electronics all right here, right? Got your headphones and all your little knickknacks. She's gonna love the Bluetooth headphones. What girl isn't gonna like these? And here's the beauty. It's Polaroid, right? That's a decent name, man. Nine dollars for wireless headphones? F-O-H. She's gonna love this stuff. And, yeah, if you want a toothbrush, I got you covered. You get a toothbrush. And you get a toothbrush. But look at this. Look at this. Look at this, bro. This is a secret. This is a Bookie Bob secret. Look at this. What seven-year-old boy in his life wouldn't lose his mind over this? It's $10. Get two. I don't care. Get three. You like little trucks? You're in business. Look at this. is going to be cute. Want to do face painting? Face paint, six bucks. I'll buy ten of these. Anyway, this is my little secret stash spot. The Bookie Bob stash spot. I don't expect you guys to tell nobody else. Look at this. It looks like a little camera, but it blows bubbles. How cute is that? They have about 15 different kinds of them. You want to you talk on the microphone? Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Come on. Come on. I like it more than the kids do. There's something for every age group. This is where the young kids are going to like the little remote control cars. And look at this. Basketball games. You want a little basketball with a watch? Come on. Now we're going to get into the, the Marvel stuff. Guys, when you can get for $7 an Iron Man. That's for Iron Man 3. Iron Man. They have Black Panther here. Look at this. $7 a kid could buy three of these. I would have killed for this. I grew up very poor. I didn't have anything. So when I see this stuff, I think the kids are going to lose their mind. Now we get to the girl stuff. All the little brats and different type of things they have. Little bebops. She looks like she's on methamphetamine. <sighs> she just did some crank in the bathroom, this one. But very super cute little angels. Girl, now... All of her kids are boys. There's one, I think he's two. So this would be super cute. Any of this stuff. The 15 year old I'm worried about because she's gonna not want any of this stuff. By the way, they had a super cute Minnie Mouse here the other day. A talking one, I hid it, but someone came and bought it because I wanted to get it for my friend. Little babies. You like little twins? Come on bro, this is the tiny stuff. This is for the little, little, little babies. Bookie Bob exclusive. All right, you get the idea. You get the idea. So we're doing a uh, we're doing a Bookie Bob shopping thing, and Mom is going to come here. And she's going to get any of her bath soaps or little scrubs and some cash. She's going to have a fun time. I promise you. This is not my first rodeo. I've done a bunch of these, and the kids lose their minds because I'm not walking up to the kid and saying, "Here's your present." I'm walking up to the kid and saying, here's your presents. Get whatever the hell you want. And the beauty is everything's 10 or 20 bucks. They can't bankrupt me. Even if they want to be greedy and get 10 toys. This is the most expensive thing here. It's 30 bucks. Could you imagine being an eight or nine year old girl and someone giving you this? Come on, bro. 
anyways, uh, that's it. If, if, they, if they want iPads and stuff like that, iPhones, they ain't getting them. That ain't, they ain't getting that from me, bro. But uh, if you like this kind of crap, you're in the money. Anyways, this has been your roving reporter, Boogie Bob. Maybe you got a bicycle at home and you need a helmet. Maybe you like to cook. You like to cook. Oh, her daughter does love books. They do have a book section here. This is really cute. Michelle, look at <laughs> It's totally possum. Instead of awesome, it's possum. And his little eyeballs move around. And every time you flip it, you could actually draw. You could color everything. Anyways, you get the idea. I hope you guys had a good time. We're doing a Boogie Bob tour. She, her daughter does like books, but these are all children's books. I think there's another section for adult books. And I think last time for Christmas, I bought her makeup. And they've got the makeup mirrors and curling irons. And uh, I definitely want to get one of these for my, for my little Phoebe. Anyways, this is where I get my George Foreman grills. You can get a lot of stuff here. I hope you guys had a fun time. Bless you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm definitely going to get one of these for me today because I'm off of sodas. Day 19, I want to kill myself, but I'm off of sodas. And for seven bucks, I can get me a big-ass water next to my bed. All right. I hope you had a good time. And, and you can always get yourself a shank. These are full tank construction. These are actually very nice. Eight bucks. Come on, bro. I hope you guys had a good time. I ain't looked at the screen in an hour. Um, but I did see these here the other day. These are uh, Mickey Mouse. By the way, guys, here's how this works, just so you know. They get all name brand stuff. Uh, I'm not kidding. Uh, almost all of it's name brand and decent stuff. But if Macy's doesn't sell it, if this is this is a real Disney sponsored thing. It's from Disney. And it's five dollars. What do you think this would cost at the Disney store right now? Forty. You get a plate, a bowl, and a mug. That's if you don't have no friends. You get the plate, the bowl, and the mug. It's five dollars. It's when they have them at Macy's and they didn't move, and no one bought them. They come here. A lot less. This is really nice. I like this. To the paradise city where the grass is green and the girls are pretty. Won't you take me home? Can't tell you how many pots and pans I've bought here. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> you like to get yourself a little sandwich maker? You're in luck, bro. Sixteen dollars. Uh, Nineteen. Sorry, nineteen ninety-nine. Come on, bro. Sprintwood. Betty Crocker. Cruising art. Cruising art. All the stuff I like. I am going to uh, bid you adieu. Hopefully they uh, will be here soon. They said 4 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. I will talk to you guys later. I love you all very much. These would be nice if they were in my size. Oh, I could rock these in Times Square instead of these. God, what are these dope-ass shoes? What are you, crazy? Guys, I'm gonna take them shopping for about 15 minutes. I will be back. We'll go do Times Square. We'll get some pizza. We'll feed some people. We'll have some fun. Please be kind and loving to each other. If you get a chance to help. Look at the shoes, bitch. Look at the shoes. 